All right, Jennifer. I'm gonna do one for you, right? I don't know what you expect me to find for you, but we'll do one for you, okay? And then I got someone else I gotta get to. But I don't think you guys will be too terribly long. So we'll just say this is me just picking up whatever it is I can. Okay. okay. Oh, that was quick. Someone taking some risks and someone's wanting a love proposal somewhere or a reason just to stay after something's been on fucking fire. Hmm. That's always romantic. I actually wasn't expecting those to pop out as quick as they did, but that's okay. We'll do it this way. Apparently shuffling's the way to go. Oh. Someone's afraid of a tower moment coming in. Destiny. Mind you, this is what you're feeling, this is what you're wanting, and this is what you're afraid of. And I gather, like, you're watching my shit, so you should already know how all this is going to come out. I don't even know I'm doing it this way. Usually I don't even try to shuffle, but it came out that way. We'll just do these three, and then, like... I'll go from there, since those three popped out, no whammies, okay, so we got you feeling like there's some risks being taken, I don't know if you feel like that's you, or someone close to you, or someone you know, and somewhere in here you're wanting some sort of proposal in order to stay, I feel like after something went wrong. And there's a tower. Someone's already crashed in reality and the other person hasn't hit it yet. It's going on around you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, is somebody taking risks with what's going on around you? There was some sort of um, battle, disagreement, fight. Someone was acting a bit bratty, maybe even being the cook, but somebody is feeling a little bit regretting the battle like there's a white flag back here and obviously he's walking away as a victor but like whatever victory he won like he won a battle but he lost the war you know it's going against all this is the high priestess of someone not being completely honest about their true feelings with the final result being somebody getting exactly what they wished for but what they wish for also leads to the tower. Hmm. With getting theme being someone needing to make a decision with the two of wands reversed. But they're failing to do so. Of course, as it usually goes. So someone's taking some risks, but it's going against what they're actually feeling and their true intentions, and that's somewhat gonna cause the tower moment to come in. And with those grists, someone thinks that they, like, won the war, but in reality, they won just a small battle, and the war is now, like, it's kind of like... <laughs> I won! And then, like, they turn around, and, like, everything they won was just bullshit. And, yeah, maybe they won everything, but now everything's on fire up in this corner with the Six of Swords reversed. And they're ready to leave, but that person is also wanting to look for just one reason to stay. Like, they're already on the boat, but they need that love proposal to keep them in place. Which is what they want to come true, but that's also going to draw the tower moment as well. Like, it's a lot of risk, a lot about, like, I almost feel like the person who took the risk, they got whatever they wanted, but it... it but it was a, it, but it was such a short-sighted victory that they didn't like short-term versus long-term. They got the short-term, but they didn't think of the long-term ramifications of it, right? 
and they're looking for a reason to stay, even though they're giving off this aura that they're getting ready to leave. They're really, like, hanging out to see if there's a reason to stay. But they're not, also not coming out with their true feelings about it. And here's this tower moment where someone still hasn't hit the ground to reality yet. And this other person has, and it's all based on a wish coming true. So you got that going for you. I'm so happy right now that I got to do this. I thought I wouldn't be home in time. It's been a long fucking day. It's been a long goddamn two weeks. I don't even remember my last day off, honestly. I think I've been 14 days straight. I'm a Capricorn, though, so makes sense. No whammies. All right. Let's see what the rest of this has. So... With somebody taking risks, they're also not coming out with some sort of truth or mindset with it, or, or it's the wrong mindset. They're doing some wrong think right now. Like, I feel like they're taking risks because they don't realize that what they're actually doing is going against what... Hmm... Like, all these swords, yeah, none of them are this sword, you know? Like, they're swallowing all these other swords, but they won't swallow the sword of truth. They just keep it wrapped around with their little pretty wreath on their head. Like, uh, uh, uh I'm controlling where uh, this shit's going, and it's going the way I want to. Two seconds, I need to get me water. Oh my god, I found, like, this really great, like, drink called Razzleberry Peace Tea. Not peach tea, peace tea. tea. Made with peace, love, and whatever the fuck else. It's delicious. I love it. Nobody else does, so that means no one's gonna drink my shit. I also think my boss is like a Virgo Libra cusp too, because it makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> he's really mean <laughs> with social. Then I think he just hates us in general. Oh, and that's gonna hurt so bad. Okay, what you want with, or what somebody wants with this uh, illusion? I want to think. I think this is just the illusion of them leaving while they're really just sitting there hovering in the air. I don't I don't think they've taken the time to really think about what it is they actually want with the four swords reversed. Like they're not paying attention. Like they want to leave, but they want to stay and they're not really thinking things through. It kind of goes with this, right? They're swallowing all these other motherfucking sores except for this one because they're keeping it in place so they don't have to think about it. This is a lot of fucking swords, man. Like, this is a lot of mental shit. With this tower moment where someone is about to hit the ground while the other person's just sitting there watching while everything is getting destroyed and shit. Um, someone is nagging and not letting go of some cups getting spilt over. Like, I fucking told you so. You know, that that kind of scenario. Like, it's almost like, okay, I can't tell which of these characters is nagging and which one spilt the cups, but it's definitely two people. And it could also involve, like, a, a, a building actually getting physically destroyed, damaged of some sort, or some sort of housing environment where it deals with these two individuals and they're always in this one place together for a majority of their time, I feel like. Like... Like, someone keeps saying... I feel like someone messed up. And... Instead of, like... I feel like someone isn't willing to forgive. Not the person who spilled the cups, but themselves. Almost, like... Because someone is taking a lot of risks without thinking about it, and they definitely aren't thinking about what it, the end result of all this is being. It has to do with winning this little battle instead of the war, and then getting the wish that you wanted. Like, not a lot of baggage, but it doesn't matter, because that wish instills, like, destiny right here. So, what you want where you didn't re somebody didn't really think of, um, the battle in comparison to the war. 
somebody was offering their affections? Someone took risks, wrapped up the truth, won a battle with... Uh, like, is it a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer type? Someone offering something to somebody? Like... Like, I feel like... Like, is this the dude who's the victor? Is, is this Knight of Cups the victor guy? He doesn't have to be, like, a water sign. He could definitely emulate it, but, like... Was that who this is that won it? Or are they trying to come back to square up? Hmm, I guess we'll find out in a second. What goes against this high priestess reverse or someone isn't really being honest with their feelings? It's just on the surface, right? Childhood trauma? Is someone having issues? Like, this is a lot of air and a lot of water. Like, a lot of air and a lot of water. A lot of miscommunication. A lot of, like, mean-spirited shit. Like, a lot of, like... The nerve-wracking bullshit, you know, that's just kind of like... Like, it, it just gives me the vibe, like, will you please fuck off a little bit with your bullshit, you know? Like... I mean, this is a lot of water and fucking air, man. And there's only, like, one trump card, and that's kind of like... Well, no, there's two with the tower, but it's still kind of weird. It's just kind of like... These are the most important two to me, right? Because of the major arcana, right? And it's like... The High Priestess is saying someone isn't coming out with the truth about issues from their past that possibly has something to do with their childhood. Maybe they're seeing, like, only the bad memories? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I, I'm, like, really OCD about everything being straight, right? It's funny, because I'm very, very bi. Uh, <laughs> but, like, you know, it, it, it almost feels like Someone's taking a lot of risk because they don't want to hear the truth. Because they're too busy hiding whatever it is that's bothering them from the past. Whether it's some shit from their childhood or something like... Back in the day where like they felt very childlike. And now here comes this like destiny moment where someone's going to come in and just not let up. For the cups getting spilt over. Not even paying attention to the gratitude that the person didn't knock over the two cups. Because, like, these two, these three cups had, like, razzleberry peace tea. And that shit's delicious. Not to everybody, but to some people. And this person spilled it, and over here is just regular brisk, you know? Like, I don't have any more razzleberry tea. What have you done to my tea? Why have you knocked it over? Why can't you be more responsible? Why are la 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 la? Blah, 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 blah. Prince of all sayings. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, just constantly nagging. Constantly criticizing. Constantly pointing out that somebody is doing something wrong, whether they mean to or not, you know? Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's just, it, it's just like someone is not letting up on another person enough to breathe. <sighs> I don't know, like... Let's see. Final result with someone getting whatever it is they wished for. Ah, community, get together, friendship, uh... Drinking buddies, maybe? Everyone having a good time? Someone has a wish to just have fun or maybe even be friends or... Hell, you can possibly start a family could signify or something new could begin. Hell, it looks like everyone's having a good time with this awesome wish but like with the rider weight usually the nine of cups is like 
it has its own hubris, you know? Like, there's always something behind the curtain. And this is a genie, and there's something in that lamp. But in that lamp, it, 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 you get your wish of, like, happiness, joyousness, prosperity. Um, ending decision, or ending theme. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Like, someone's trying to run out of the woods and escape whatever it is that's bothering them. But they can't find the road because they aren't making any sort of real decision in this scenario, right? So let us review. We got someone with the Seven of Swords taking risks but not really wanting to, like, acknowledge that. And they are obviously ignoring that with the wreath wrapped around the sword, keeping it at bay. The Sword of Truth, as I like to call it. Not trying to change their minds. Not trying to even acknowledge that maybe their mindsets are wrong. Not even trying to... Delegate the idea that it's the wrong thing to do. They don't even care to think about it. Like, they don't want to think about it because that would re that would result in actually critical thinking and not thinking, like, taking risks is okay. And underneath of this, like, they want a battle but not a war as a knight of cups giving something sort of emotional closeness, right? And then over yonder here, we got someone wanting to, like, leave, but stay. Like, they want to leave, but they want a reason to stay. Whereas someone's going to be coming looking for the truth about this entire scenario about someone getting a small victory being the Knight of Cups and taking risks while ignoring the truth with the Ace of Swords. While not really ignoring the truth, purposely holding it at bay, purposely keeping it back, purposely making sure it never comes out. Um, someone's looking for a proposal to stay when they're very much, like, showing that they're ready to leave because they haven't really thought some stuff out. Because the High Priestess says that they're hiding this issue from their past. This, to me, has nothing to do with any future revolve. This is like, there's issues in the background that I don't think has anything to do with anybody else. And that's got this person's happiness upside down. There's a cloud in front of their side because they're not willing to really like, think about shit. God, this is a lot of, this is a lot of emotions. I have to say, like a lot of emotion. A lot of mental gymnastics I feel like too. Then we got these final results where your fear, the tower, where, well, it could be you fearing it or whatever it is you're dealing with, fearing this tower moment where someone is overwhelmed with, I feel like, criticisms, nitpickings, um, disappointments, because, like, they fucked up, and they should have listened to the person who told them they were going to fuck up, and now the person who's yelling at them is going on a fucking tirade. Like, they've been dealing with this shit for a while. It's just stained on their damn floor. And they're just like, God fucking damn it. I told you. I told you six freaking times. Five. Five. Six times the liquid coming out of my mouth, spitting it on your face, you know. And below that, as it lies above, is this wish for... I should count that as a third party situation or not like I never really thought to examine that now that I'm looking at it with this deck like I like I rarely ever read the books for decks because like I don't like to I like to actually look at the picture but it's like there's someone in the middle getting drinks pour a drink poured on them that they're doing to themselves, like they're pouring their emotion onto them and letting others witness it as they hold their cups up high. And I can't tell which cup they're going to take next, you know? Like they want to be damp with the admiration, right? They want to be damped with emotions. They want to be covered in happiness and closeness and joy and be loved by many, many people. However, those are two dudes, in, and they're all in a fucking shark, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about this. It's like, the entire situation's devouring all of them alive. But they're all still having a good time. Like, they don't realize it, or they don't care. Oh, god damn it, of course you'd be on the floor. 
And with all of this, someone really wants to take off, and that is like the only wand. The, well, no, there are three wands. Uh, these two are in action. This is the only one moving. So... Someone got their wish with these three people, and that led to this tower moment where someone's just nagging the shit out of them, and they feel like they want to leave, and that's why they feel like they want this decision. To leave these woods, they feel like they got no escape from, but they really can't come to that decision, whoever this is. But that's the reading I got for you, Jen, so you let me know what you think about it, and we'll go from there. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.